Man, I hate waiting. Where is he? Who knows? I'm guessing he didn't tell you why we're all meeting here either. No, he uh, just had a permanent grin on his face the whole way back from town. Okay, now I'm worried. He said he has some big announcement he has to make. Hey! Ah, good, you're all here. So good to have you back, little brother. Good to be back. Norman needed help setting up in Edinburgh. Freddy, hey. Hi, Rosie, Henry, Arthur. Good to see you again, Dr. Parkhurst. Okay, Dad. What is it you wanted to tell us? Well, it's not actually my announcement. I'm running for mayor back home. Anyone who is qualified is afraid to run and for good reason. But I can protect myself, so I'm running for mayor. Don't all congratulate me at once. Oh, you're serious? Yes. The other week, Curtis said that Red Lake needed someone who could stand up who isn't hiding behind a mask. It needs a leader. Why does that person have to be you? I mean, don't get me wrong, but you're not a politician. Maybe that's the best reason for me to be elected. What are you going to do for staff or campaign manager or money? Money parts taken care of. Freddy may no longer be a millionaire, but I'm happy to help him out to see some real change in Glasgow. What platform are you going to run on? I'll figure it out. What qualifies you to be mayor? I care about my city. Right. Obviously, we'll uh, brush up on these answers before you go up for your first interview. Kind of thought everyone would be more supportive. Oh, no. It's not that we're not supportive, Freddy. It's just... We want to make sure you're not in over your head. Right. No, as a matter of fact, I want to uh, show you something. It's been about a month since uh, I last saw you all. And uh, I think you're going to like what you see next. For real? You upgraded the lift? Patience. So, how did you... How did you do this all by yourself? Well, I had a wee bit of help. He had a lot of help from Harry, Leo, and the rest of Array Industries. Four polycarbonated cases, each key to your biometrics. Who's the fourth one for? Ariana. Oh yeah. I had some design input. Wow. Charles, this is... amazing. Well, the original command centre was made for just salt air, but I thought to myself, seeing as it's not, as that's not the case anymore, um, we might as well, well, shall we say, expand. Especially as we're always getting visiting allies and friends, so we could use some more space down here. I gotta visit my father, but I'll be back later. I really enjoy sparring with you, Don. I'm not I know, that's what makes it so much fun. That's why I take great care not to give you the opportunity. Next time I'll take your head off. Malik, two foreigners are here. Hello, father. Freddy, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? Well, I wanted to spend a day with you. That not allowed? Leave us. What are you doing here? 
I'm going to move to Glasgow so I can be close to Charles and the team and all that, but I also want your help with something. Help with what? I want to create a new team. I want to train the next generation of heroes. Hopefully, I can get some help from some veteran heroes too. I shall name the team the Legion of Heroes. Wow, very inspiring. I'm sure I can help you. Amazing. All right, Sergeant Birch. If you could have that report on my desk by the end of the day, that would be great. Thank you. And Andrew, well done. Charlie, I have an old friend I want you to meet. Awesome. He was a stranger. Charles McLance. <laughs> it's been a while, my friend. What do I owe the pleasure of Charles McLance gracing us with his presence today? Well, I needed to ask you a favour. Of course you do. Charles, meet Charles. Charlie. All right. What's the favour? Need you to figure out who got to those cops the other night. I'll look into it, but you got to take Charlie under your wing. You seem to be creating an army or something like that anyways. Thank you, and only because you're helping me. Charles, before you go, I need to ask something. What is it? The question is why you're here. I thought after that fiasco on the island you were going to stop all this. Look, I am your friend, so I'll back you no matter what. But you're not making things any better, are you? I was. But I can't just let Dan die in vain. I'm not letting my sister be broken whilst I do nothing. I'm just trying to help Harry. That were true, you wouldn't have come back. This city went into crap the moment you put on that costume. It brought darkness into all of our lives, and the monster you were inspired other monsters. Maybe, but I'm no monster anymore. What are you then? Can you believe that guy? Aye, you're right. Come on, let's go. Are you alright, Henry? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. You sure? Yeah, just been having a think and it's just dawned on me how different my life is. Charlie, I knew you about five years ago. And look at us now. We were different people back then. How do you mean? Well, I started off as the MD of Array Industries, over on Earth 217. Then my best friend Stuart was killed. I became CEO. He left the company, and I like to think I did a good job. But then I had to become justice. I couldn't live with how Stuart died. I need to do something. Then a year later, and you and the protectors of time turn up by accident, and I end up joining you. Two years on the chrysalis were amazingly mad times, filled with brilliant adventures. But then I was taken back to my earth to help bring back people. Back from the spirit world. Then we were faced with Korak, which was the biggest thing I've had to come up against, and I sacrificed myself and I died. I lost my other best friend, John West, in the process. Oh yeah. But once I sorted everything, I was sent here because I wasn't allowed to stay on my earth due to my status being dead. And you know of course I could have applied to come back from the dead, but Harry convinced me it was too much. So I came back here and rejoined the Protectors of Time. But then the team changes drastically and now I'm here. Just a lot has changed. You know I haven't seen my family in five years. I wonder what my family are up to. My wife Natasha and daughter Lotta. What were they like? So full of life. You alright? 
You know, I heard Lauren and Laura tried coming here the other week. You wouldn't help them. So aside from the fact that you won't help my friend and half-sister, why won't you help them with Sarah? I wouldn't be helping Sarah. You know more than anyone. What do you mean? When I was cautioning Laura on the effects of the pit, I saw the look on Lauren's face. What look? The pit contains traces of the souls of all the men and women who have bathed in its waters. What those waters restore, they can also take. Life for life. What are you saying? Then you need to feed this impulse. Give in to it. Once you do, it will subside for a time. But it's not a long-term thing. Lauren can't just go around killing people. Gosh, what has happened to our lives? Look, your sister is going to need as much help as possible, so please, check in on her from time to time. I will. You're leaving in the morning, aren't you? Yeah. Good luck then, son. Thanks, Dad. I love you, son. Detective Black gave me the SIM card to recover it from the crime scene. Where's Henry? Good thing you guys aren't short-handed these days. This SIM isn't from a cell phone. Ugh. Sorry. Mobile. Thank you. Yes, thank you. It looks like the SIM is from some kind of walkie with GPS. GPS? As we can track it, right? As in, I can figure out all the places it's been and triangulate from there to determine where it came from. Suit up. Thanks for meeting me here. Sure thing. What's up? As you know, Crash and I are now based in Edinburgh. Oh yeah, that's great stuff. I also have an idea. What's that? I'm planning to train the next generation of heroes. I want to call this group the Legion of Heroes, and I want you to help me. In memory of Tom. Oh, I'm in. Awesome. But I think we should wait a week or two. Why? Charles is going to need as much help as he can. Fair enough. I say, we stop Chase and then we'll head off. Seems like a plan. So the mission was a bust. It wasn't, Sarge. You saw him come to us. Normally bad guys don't do that. Been a while since I've put this on. Thanks, Fred. Sir, it seems that, um, Malcolm Hunter is upstairs. I'll sort it out. Malcolm, what are you doing here? Thank you. Charles, I wanted to ask something. Aye. What is it? Well, Freddy told me he's moving to Glasgow so he could be near you. I just want you to keep an eye out for him. Aye, of course. Freddy has also had thoughts of joining this Legion of Heroes. Aye. Maybe I should uh, put him in touch with Norman. Thank you, but apparently Norman is coming back to help out here too. Malcolm, what's that on your hand? Have you been pretending to be the demon? Just a little fun. He's gonna fucking kill you for that. Doesn't matter. How? A magician never reveals his secrets. That aside, I wanted to make sure you knew that Ariana is going to come with me for a bit, and then she's going on a mission with Dawn. She said... See you soon, Charles. Charles. What? Harry wants to see you at the police station. Thanks. Ruby, fancy joining me? Sure.
Harry, this is Ruby. She's a friend. Hey. That's two Harrys I know now. You, uh, you wanted me here, right? Yeah, thanks. But it's not really him that wants you here. Everybody stop! What? I know that voice. Hello, Charles. You... You're the one who kidnapped my sister. Hello, Charles. Sorry about all the hiding and all the secrets, but... It had to be done. And don't blame your friend Harry for joining me. It's... Let's just say I gave him a good incentive. I'm gonna kill you. Really? Your powers don't affect me. We both know you're a little bitch without your powers, aren't you? Oh, that's funny. Are you surprised to see me? You had to know I'd come for you. Not this fast, but I will admit keeping tabs on you. Spies are easy to come by. For me. Do whatever you want with me, but let her be a meme go. Well, I would, but they're my security. Who is that? Who is that? Whose phone is that? Mine. The next person whose phone rings has to eat it. Stop doing this. Please. No. Come on, Charles. Ariana was never this pathetic. Don't you dare say her name. Or what? Maybe I should pay her a visit. If you lay a finger on her. You what? Kill me? You really love her, don't you? You and your sister. Against the world, isn't that right? Poor Andrew. You love him too, of course, but not as much. Well, I'd assume you wouldn't know what it felt like to love someone. Don't presume to know me. Wow, you can shout. Big man, aye. Miss Sawyer, you're developing some new powers, aren't you? Sorry, Charles. No, don't apologize. I'll see you again, Saltire, and we will have fun facing each other. Well, I will anyway. I'll disappear for a while, but next time you see me, we're gonna have a long chat. Now, Harry, go home. Everyone else wipe the CCTV and get back to work. Bye, Charlie. Ruby! Oh, Christ. Oh. You know I've got a heart condition, right? For years, you've looked at me with such contempt, utter disdain. So I'm wondering, do I have that look on my face now? What? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about you and Edward Chase. Now, you may be being controlled by him, or I don't know. I didn't know if you were being controlled by him, or if you didn't know who he was, or what he was doing in this city. But now I see it. I see this look on your face, you know? You fucking know. It's complicated. No, it's not. Do you have any idea how many people he's killed? Yeah, I've got more of an idea than you and you. You of all people don't, go to, don't get to come into my house and pass judgment on me. Don't you dare. You always held yourself out as better than me. More righteous. And you are. Till tonight. Actually, it's been a little more than two months now. Me. I'm working with Chase. Started out benign. He said he had resources, people, money. He held himself just as any other guy. He wanted to help the city. And we needed the help. You weren't here. By the time I figured out who he was, what he was, 
That's when he threatened Nora. Nora can take care of herself. That's what I thought about Rosie too. Stop it! Stop hiding behind your nieces! They would be ashamed of what you're doing right now. And you know, and you know the funny thing, Harry? You're the reason I started doing this again. A part of me has always wanted you to see what kind of man I am. I didn't expect to find out of what kind of man you really are. What are you going to do? I don't know. Give me some time and I'll let you know. Someone's aiming to see double tonight. Hey. Looks like I've walked in on a party for one. I'd like to keep it that way if you don't mind. <laughs> Sorry, hon, but I do. You don't have to say anything. But a friend, let alone your big sister, wouldn't leave you drinking on a ledge. I'm not the hero this place thinks I am. I betrayed a friend today. I put them in Magdalene. What compelled that? I felt myself becoming them. I killed someone. And then I buried them. Didn't feel an ounce of shame or remorse. And it's not just that. What else? Why do I keep losing? What do you mean? You always win the battles that come your way. I don't mean like the fights. Or against our foes. I'll lose any war you like. I'm sick of losing people. Look at you. With your eyes and you're never giving up. To anger. Kindness. One day. The memory of losing people will hurt so much that I will do what I always do and push you lot away and I'll hide and I'll run and I'll run so that the pain never catches up. I forget you lost four friends. Yeah. Steve. Sam. Norman. Oh yeah, and Oliver. I've lost so much. I've got survivor's guilt now. Why not? Why them? Why not me? At this point, the only thing that makes this life worth living is you and my family. Without you and Arthur, I might as well just snuff it. Charles. There's something wrong with me, Ariana. Because, well, because you shouldn't want to feel the way that I am feeling right now. I don't know who I am right now, but I do know that I don't want to become them. You're not going to. You're going to be fine, don't worry. Because I'm here for you, and that's never going to change. <sighs> I love you to Pluto and back. Love you to Pluto and back. Come here. 